Hello, we're really excited to show you this year's first film, Good Cop, Bad Cop. That's right. This film actually contains a bunch of different scenes, different scenarios that contain a good cop and a bad cop. Yep, and it all comes out of stories from the Richardville Police Department. You'll see all types of things, like an interrogation, a neighborhood watch, and so much more. Our first story comes from these two cops in training, a football coach and a nurse, who are being trained by these two experienced lady cops. Ooh, I wonder how that one's gonna go. Well, let's go check it out. The first skit of Good Cop, Bad Cop starts now. So, remind me, why are we doing this job again? Well, you've been complaining about having nothing to do since the football season's over. So, I found us both a job outside of school. Plus, I've been wanting to plan a vacation for the four of us. You, me, Tucker, and Summers. As police officers. I mean, how bad can it be? You're late. What? You guys didn't see the time on your phones? It's 4.02. You said to be here by 4. You know how much can happen in two minutes? We're the police. You know how many emergency calls we can get? A house could be on fire. Someone could get mugged. Hey, 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 what's going on in here? These trainees are late. Oh. Hi, I'm Jasmine. You're not supposed to be nice to them. Why not? Because being late is bad. I mean, not really today. We don't have an emergency call. Actually, we just got one. We need to go interrogate two girls. Huh? Yeah, apparently they stole from a clothing store. Ooh, can we interrogate them? Yeah, of course! No, y'all are still in training. Fine. Can we at least come along? <sighs> sure. Fine, but if things get too rowdy, I got my whistle if y'all need it. Just come on. No, what if we're found guilty? It's gonna go by permanent record. Shh, it's okay, girl. One time I ran over a kid and it never went on my license. Just act natural. No, not that. Anything but that. Wait, what are y'all doing here? We don't know. Wait, what are you and Coach Mooney doing here? Oh, sure y'all don't know. Y'all two stole that dress from that store. Well, I'm pretty sure it was a hoodie. Who do you think you are? We didn't steal anything. Listen, y'all are gonna tell me the truth, or-, or Rachel, stop! Stop, they're just kids. Whoa, you look a lot like my girlfriend Morgan. <gasps> All right, not too much on that, honey. I'm way older than you and your girlfriend. Wait, aren't you the girl that rejected Axel at practice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, this is awkward. Can we please stop talking about high school drama? I mean, it's kind of cool. Tell me more about this Morgan character. Everyone, shut up! I need the girl I left out of here. Bethany, you take her into another room. So you want to join the play football team at- Now that she's gone. Tell me your name. And don't try to lie to me, because I already know your name. I just want to make sure you're going to tell the truth. What? They never told us their names. Jasmine. Ha! Now I can lie, and you wouldn't even know it. Oh, no you won't. Because if you don't admit that your friend stole from that store, I'm not going to give you your favorite food. Uh-uh, no way. You don't even know what my favorite food is. Oh, yeah? <gasps> Cookies! Yeah, and they can be all yours if you just admit that she stole that hoodie. They could be all yours, oh, come on! Come on, you can't! I'm doing my job! So what'll it be? Uh, uh, no! No! I'm a firm believer that my friend Erica would never steal. You know what? That's it. You're under arrest. Come on, Rachel. Let's Jasmine, quiet. Coach Mooney, grab that hoodie and return it to the store. She's one of my students. I highly doubt she would- Now! Now, I hope you know how much trouble you've gotten yourself into. They're innocent. 
What? What? Erica did not steal that hoodie. Then who did? No one. Wait. What? When Rachel told me to take Erica into the other room, we stumbled upon the camera room. Erica and I went through the security footage and look! Oh my god! The hoodie fell by accident! Yup, I'm innocent! See? I told you that these girls were nice people? Yeah, I mean, we all are nice people. Because we all can be something special at the end of the day. What are you talking about? What? Not the time? Yeah, that was for the movie. We're way beyond that. Okay, I'm confused. Can we go home now? Yeah, of course. No, y'all still have training to do. I just want this day to be over. Hello? The choir teacher from Lambert High School's car broke down and is holding up traffic? We're on the way. Miss Summers, come on y'all, let's go. Ooh, cookies. Oh my God. What's up? Yo, man, this is like the seventh call we got about these uh, stolen packages that's happening around here. So what'd you tell them? I told them uh, they need to contact the shippers. There's nothing we can do about it. What are you talking about? Yes, we can. Bro, we not an online store. We can't just walk around tracking packages. Hello? Excuse me? Um, who is this? I'm just trying to ask you guys a favor. Okay, what's the favor? So bad news, it's a package thing. Oh my god, another package thing? What? I ain't doing that unless I'm getting paid extra, bro. I'm willing to pay $10,000 each. Repeat that? How much? Okay. I'm good with that. The package should get delivered tomorrow afternoon. Now I'll be back from class at around 6 p.m. So just make sure it doesn't get stolen. Can you believe that? 10K to just watch a little package for four hours? Boy. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna fill up the uh, the police car, man, so we could you know have enough gas in there. So while we're watching the package, nah, we're gonna use a regular car. That way the thief won't suspect anything. I mean, but what about the uh, cameras and stuff? It's all good. We'll be watching it with our own two eyes. Yo, wake up, man. You fell asleep, bro. What? What? You know what time it is, man? You fell asleep this early? Yeah, man. Man, let's go see what's up with the package. Hold on. Yo, man, the package is gone, bro. God damn it. Shit, man. So what are we gonna do? Just check the camera. What camera? We not in the police car. Right. Damn, bro. So again, what are we gonna do, bro? Well, we'll just tell her. Hopefully she's understanding. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, ma'am. I mean, what do you want us to do? Get new officers that actually know how to look over packages. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We won't make that mistake again. We got you. Fine, but I'm lowering the money to 5,000. What? I mean, that's okay. I mean, cool. All right. So I guess all we gotta do is stay awake, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could get some coffee and some energy drinks, man, so we could stay up all night and there's no reason why we should lose this package. Fuck it. Yeah. Yo. You fell asleep again, bro. Oh no. Let me go check to see if the package is there. Bro. It's going again, bro. Damn it, man. Shoot. Down to 2,500. A thousand. A hundred. Well, you did it. You slept your way to earning a dollar. I'm sorry, ma'am. There's nothing we can do. We're not sorry. Why she try sleeping in that hot ass car? Do y'all want this dollar or not? <sighs> I guess so. Bye. Look at this kid, man. 
He steals packages and he looks like he's only 12 years old. Uh, fuck that guy. Let's go. Yo, man, we slept again, man. Uh, guess what? What? I think oh, that's that snap. little fucker right there. Let's get him. Hey, where you going? Come here. Finally caught you, you ugly shit. Oh, hello. This that same guy in that post I had. Hold on one second. <laughs> Got him. Yo, he's wanted for 20000 Like, he he stole a lot of money. 10000 a piece again. And a dollar. Yeah, a dollar too, whatever. 10000 each. Yep. Let's go turn them in. All right. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right, are those all the posters? Yeah, I just don't know where they'd be. I mean, they look about 17 and 14. What were they even arrested for? Something like stealing a watch last year? Maybe they're near a pawn shop or something? Oh, come on, why would they be there? To sell the watch. That watch has been long confiscated. You know what? We need to find them because they escaped from jail. Oh, jeez. Wait, I got it. What? So, we put a tracker on them. They're not gonna remember that I put that tracker on them. Let's take a look and check the watch. I mean, let's try it. Oh, that's weird. It says they're not, it says they're not moving. What could have happened to it? I don't know. Are you sure this isn't gonna get us in trouble? I'm sure, they're not gonna look for them. Just throw them. Okay. Well, what do we do now? You tell me. You're the older sister. I don't know. I've never had two teenagers escape from jail before. Why don't we just tell Fred? No. Why not? So, he's the head of the police station. I want to take over in a few months. So, so, if he finds out I lost not one, but two criminals, he's never going to let me take over. Well, let's find them. But where could they be? I don't know. So, where are we? Isn't it obvious? Ricky's house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wait, wait, why? Why? He was the reason that we were arrested. He called the cops on someone he didn't even know was us. I know. That's what led to us getting arrested. But what are we doing now? Revenge. I'm gonna make sure that there's no water or power in their house ever again. Adriana, one of the guys is literally our brother. I don't care! He was the one who brought attention to us that got us arrested. Okay. Now, help me destroy this water pipe on their house. Oh, jeez. Plus, I doubt those ladies are gonna find us after this whole day. I can't believe we didn't find them after this whole day. Me neither. I guess if we, the officers, don't find them, nobody can. Maya, Holly, we found your prisoners messing with someone's water pipe. What? How did you guys find them? Well, I thought they were trying to fix the water pipe. They were actually trying to ruin it. What? Yes, your brother found them. No, no, there's no way. Yeah, so I just suggested that he take over the police station in a few months when I leave. Damn it! But he suggested that it be all three of you guys as a sibling operation. Yeah, you guys think I can run this whole operation by myself? <laughs> Thanks, Simon. Oh, just go. Aw, that was so sweet. Can we be released now? No! You guys are going straight to- Hey, uh, can I bail out my siblings? Are you their actual brother? Yes. Fine, just send the amount to the Richardville Police Station. Alright. Wait a minute. Weren't you that thief that stole all those packages? Oh, yeah. Um, that's my twin brother. <laughs> He's crazy. I'm oh, sorry about that. All right, I got your bail money. You're good to go. All right, come on guys. You have some apologizing to do for me and Ricky. Ugh, fine. You do not have a twin brother. I know, but the package was a Patrick Mahomes jersey. I mean, who could pass that up? 
Taylor Swift's boyfriend's teammate? Yeah. Dang it! What happened? I failed the test again. Again? Yes! Come on, dude, your sister's passed on the first try. What is this dumb test even for? It's to own your own police station. Why are you yelling at me about it? Because I need you to pass so that way I can leave. Fine. What should I do? Well, I have a solution for you. We can get you a tutor. Oh, God. You feel like I'm back in college or something. Well, you're in luck because this tutor is a college student. I'll be right back to get him. And it's me! <laughs> so, where do we get started? Well, let's go over the questions that you missed. Um, I can't pull up the answers. Let me see. Oh, no. What? You failed the test so many times that you have to take the test in person now. What? Yeah, and it's not any ordinary test. The proctor's gonna have to ask you questions and you have to answer most of them correctly. Oh, God. Any bright ideas? Maybe we should study. Oh, God. Well, it's no use. You studied, did a whole montage, and you're still not ready for the test. Well, what should we do now? I don't know. I got it. What? Just take the test with me. Huh? No, not in that way. Just be in the room where I can see you, look to the side, and look to you for the answer. I guess. Maybe that could work. Let's All right. Go. Let's go. What the? Ain't you just a kid? Yeah, and this is uh, one of my new jobs. Uh, part of my training is to practice these exams. Now, come up. Okay. All right. Jeez. All right, let's get started. When was this police station founded? Um. 1949. That's correct. Looks like we're going to be in for a good test. All right, Simon, this is the last question. You've got eight out of 12 correct so far. Now, if you want to own your own police station like this one day, you have to remember everybody in here's name. Now, what's my name? Axel, spring practice started today and you're over here proctoring some exam? You're an upcoming senior. You need to get your priorities straight. Uh. uh... Uh... Axel! Your name's Axel! No, wait, that's not fair! He's the one that said my name! Well, I need to know everyone's name if I want to manage this company. And I know it now, Axel. Yup, and Axel is coming with me now. Because he's late for practice. Hey, wait! Did I pass? Yeah, I guess so. Go have fun, because I won't be. <laughs> Let's go! I finally partially own the police station! <laughs> hey, what's that? And we're back. I want to thank you guys for seeing this film. And you guys saw how Simon, Holly, and Maya are now the new owners of this chaotic police station. And how a football coach and school nurse got started there. Shoot, so much happened and felt like we were there. Alright, not too much on that.